video I'm going to be covering a treatment session I developed based off of the film Lorenzo's oil. If you haven't seen the film, it is based off of a true story about a six-year-old boy who is diagnosed with adrenal leukodystrophy. It does a wonderful job at showing the different symptoms this disease possesses and how quickly they progress, as well as showing the physical, emotional, and financial stress that the caregivers or parents of these patients receive. For this video specifically, I'm going to be talking about the 10th session I developed for Lorenzo. And to start it off, we are going to do the neuromuscular electrical stimulation during passive range of motion exercises in hopes to increase the signal from the brain to the muscle and the muscle to the brain to enhance that slight movement that Lorenzo showed in the one of the final clips of the film of his fifth digit. Um, I just think this is a really beneficial intervention for Lorenzo. And then we're also going to educate his parents on the importance of proper hygiene and bathing, specifically the areas of the body that are skin to skin, like your armpits and your peri area, because those are the ones that are going to be most likely to, for you to get an abscess or an infection in due to poor hygiene. And we, in this session specifically, we're also trying to increase his participation in ADLs or um, leisure activities. So during the um, bed bath, we are going to have Lorenzo engage and we're going to do a hand over hand technique that way we can assist him in uh, the gross grasp required to grab onto the sponge or wash rag and assist him in twisting to wring it out. That way he does feel as though he is participating and hopefully um, it can remind him of the times whenever he was young and he was able to do that on, the, on his own. That way it could be a motivation for him and, and in the other intervention I have is that if you've seen the film, you know that reading books is a theme or it's like a family tradition um, that the Adonis have. And um, his mother is constantly reading to him. And for this intervention, I kept that in mind because I think that um, even before Lorenzo was diagnosed, he did um, enjoy reading and um, he was very smart child. Um, so for this intervention, we are going to perform a um, reading activity. And although Lorenzo at this point of the film, he was still nonverbal and was unable to communicate other than by blinking. And Lorenzo is going to be assisted to use his fifth digit since he does have slight movement to assist in turning pages. So while um, his mom was holding the book, I could be on his side helping him make sure that he is placing his hand in the right spot and just assist him in stabilizing his hand on the book and move, him moving that and me pulling his arm for him since he doesn't have that movement. That way he can assist in book reading and then even if he didn't want to do this in necessarily um, reading a book or having his mom read to him we could do it with picture books that way um, he has a visual stimulation I do believe that Lorenzo would have benefited from occupational therapy just because he went through so much change and although it was pretty progressive occupational therapy could have helped him find new ways to perform each of those activities and help him maintain independence, keep him learning, as well as help assisting his parents in knowing how to care for him through these changes. Um, I hope you liked my treatment idea and thank you for watching.